So we woke up this morning and thought it's early May and we haven't seen a dipper yet this year. And they've given rain out for today, all day. But look at it, it's beautiful. How can they get something so wrong? And then we look back at the records and we've not actually been here to Bradford Dale since July last year. So we're here today to try and get some film of the dipper again. We're not quite in its territory yet, we've got about another mile to walk perhaps, but what a place this is, surrounded by singing black cats, blackbirds, and I have seen singing red star on this stretch of river before, so I'll keep my eyes open for that one as well. So come along with us and let's see if we can get that dipper, first one of 2021. Come on. So what an amazing five minutes. I've just spotted a grey wagtail on a rock down river. And I was filming that, uh, a bird flew through shot. Um, and I turned around quickly and this dipper landed within 20, 25 feet of me. Um, and it's a juvenile, which means it's been kicked off territory further up river. Um, parents are probably on second brood now. Um, amazing though, absolutely superb. They're the two birds we come here to see, grey, grey wagtail and dipper. We've been getting both not together, really. Super brilliant. I'm just looking up river here in this catchment area where the water flows not so fast. And there's this coot. It's mate coming now. And uh, yeah, it's bringing nesting material now. It's lovely to see. It's such a big nest already, but I'm guessing on a piece of water whose level can go up and down quite a bit, the higher you can get it, the better. There's a coop further upstream with a much smaller platform. It might not necessarily be a nest, of course, but... Today just keeps getting better and better and better. We've just been sat here, see where Lynn is, having lunch, and the young juvenile dipper. Oh my God, it must have come within 10 feet of us. I was a bit worried too close to focus but now and it was hopping around on these branches just underneath us here and then it disappeared under the small waterfall there the weir <laughs> absolutely incredible And then after watching the juvenile, along came the adult. being treated to a, a flying lesson. You probably can't pick them up on here, but we've got a male and female grey wagtail behind us. They've got a nest somewhere around here, but I don't want to get too close because I don't want to disturb them. But the female is taking insects off the water and in the air as well. 
such a skill, brilliant. I can't get it on film, it's too quick. I can't follow them. But I have got some really nice footage of both male and female perched with mouthfuls of food ready for those young. There she is, look, I know you probably can't see it. You probably can't see it, but she's oh, feet away from us. And she's just dragged her tail, she's just dragged her tail in the water. I wish I could get that on film, but I'm not even gonna to try today. I'll waste too much memory. Superb, they're brilliant. So the River of Bradford just keeps on giving today. We managed to find the grey wagtail's nest from a good 40, 50 metres away. And I've got some long distance footage of them coming in and out of the nest. Uh, females are a lot more productive than the male is. He's wandering around taking the odd fly, or the odd, uh, odd insect in the odd little moth. But she's in and out with him with beakfuls every five, 10 minutes. So I think he needs to pull his finger out a little bit. But nice to see though. So that's us done for the day. What a brilliant day it's been. It's just dippers everywhere, grey wagtails. Also a garden warbler as well, which is a first for this year. Got really nice views of it as well. No footies of unfortunately. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching and we shall see you again soon. Thank you very much. See ya. <laughs>